Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a crafty video for you which I'm super excited about. I'm going to be showing you six ways that you can embellish and jazz up your parcels this Christmas and your gift wrapping. So I'm going to be using some brown craft paper which is widely available in lots of supermarkets, at the post office, like loads and loads of different stores do it. It's a more environmentally friendly option for wrapping your gifts. But obviously brown paper can be a little bit boring so I thought I would bring you some really fun ways that you can jazz it up and make them look super cute this Christmas. So the options that I'm going to be showing you are really easy and anyone can do them. It doesn't require a Cricut machine, it doesn't require a lot of fuss. So without further ado I'm going to get straight on into it because there are six different little tutorials to show you in this video and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and without further ado let's get straight on into it. All of the materials that I'm going to be using in my tutorials will be listed in the description box below and I will label them as make one, make two, make three etc and that way it makes it super easy for you guys to find everything that you need. First up is ribbons. This is a really simple one but you can save ribbons from things that you've made in your craft box etc. So we're going to layer up a few different size ribbons and you can do this in colour tones or you could do this with prints, whatever ribbons you have but I really like using a few ribbons together. Simply just tie this onto your box, make a lovely big bow and that's it. It's just a really effective way to dress up your parcels. Next up is coloured felt tip pens, I really love this one. So if you pre-wrap your box and then you can just doodle all over the parcel and you can do rainbow colours like I'm doing, lots of swirls. I've even seen some really lovely hand lettering styles, you could draw little baubles, Christmas trees, again so much you can do but here is my little rainbow scribble design, I think it looks really effective. Next up is stamps. I got these amazing stamps from my friend Emma Jewel Craft and she has some really cute designs and these are a selection of like little Christmassy ones. And you can get these ink pads from Amazon and other places but, but I'll link some below. So yeah, we just all you have to do is pop your little stamp into the ink and press onto your parcels and they just look so great. You can do little designs, you can make like prints with them and stuff. It looks really, really cute. Next is hole punches or craft punches. I have a really cool circle one and a star one and you can use up leftover card and vinyl so any scraps make sure you keep hold of them and you can use them for doing this. You easily punch out the shapes that you want and you stick them on your box. It's really simple and a great way to use up scrap materials. So next is a gift tag where you put a little see-through window and some sequins inside. So everything you need will be in the description box. So you draw on a little rectangle on your tag and then using a craft blade you want to cut this window out. Once it's cut out 
you want to put your sequins into the little cello bag and once they're in the cello bag you can cut this to size and use a hot glue gun to stick it together and once that's stuck together you can stick it onto your tag like so and then glue the other side of the tag onto the back or you can just leave it like that if you wish how cute is that you can do all kinds of sequins inside and then just scatter on some sequins onto the table get a bit of clear sellotape and use that to stick on your tag and it matches it looks really really cute And then last but not least is miniature pom-poms. Using these little miniature craft pom-poms that you can get in most craft shops, you want to use some hot glue and glue them down. You want to do four, then three, then two, then one. And this creates really adorable tree shapes onto your parcel, like little mini Christmas trees. I absolutely love the pastel colour as well. And then you can hot glue on some little stars just to finish it all off. And there you have it you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing the amazing gift wrapping embellishing ideas onto brown paper. It's so much fun and there's so much you can do, this is just a little taster for you of all of the things that you can achieve with brown paper and adding a little embellished touch to them to make them really fun for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this gave you lots of inspiration, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time, bye!